Today, we're gonna talk coffee with the GSI H2 Joe. That's right, folks. That's what we're looking at here today is this GSI product. Now, GSI Outdoors makes a lot of great coffee products. We're gonna talk about several of them today, but really focusing in and honing in on an item that I've been looking at for a while, what they call their H2 Joe. And this is designed to be able to make coffee in almost any wide mouth bottle, particularly your Nalgene's. Now jeans, uh, clean bottles, uh, hydro flash, you name it. If it's a wide bot mouthed bottle, this is gonna probably fit on it. I think I saw the list, it was like over, I don't know, 10 bottles, different types of bottles. But basically, you just screw this bad boy on and you do your coffee. You can do it also with tea, tea bags, sun tea, whatever you want, and produces a very good cup of coffee. Really enjoying the way this is made. So I'm gonna show you the two different ways that you can make coffee with this design, and you can basically do the same thing with tea as well if you wanna do that, and just show you whether or not this really compact item is a great way to make coffee on the go, regardless if you're backpacking, day hiking, or just going to the office in your regular commute. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. We're gonna take the lid off and take the uh, infuser H2 Joe off. This thing weighs under two ounces. I believe it's 1.7 ounces. So ultra lightweight will fit on top of your bottle. And then with the lid and aftermarket lids as well, we'll be able to screw onto the top. So it's totally, you know, watertight, which is awesome. Gonna get that hot water going. While that's going, we're going to put in the grounds into that mesh um, basket. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pour that hot water into our bottle. We're going to re-screw on the H2 Joe with the lid and then turn it upside down. And this is how we're going to infuse it and just kind of shake it around a little bit. Let, I let it sit for four minutes with the, with the testing that I was doing for both of these uh, ways. And about two minutes in, I just took the bottle and shook it up a little bit, kind of, you know, spun it around. And then uh, once the four minutes is up, you just... Uh, take off the complete section of both the lid and the H2 Joe, and then you got your coffee or your tea, and you pour that right into your mug, and you're good to go. And then without too much difficulty, you can rinse that thing out. There's going to be some particulates that are going to get into the main um, you know, container of the, where the coffee or the tea was. So that is something you are going to have to rinse it out a little bit, and you will have to rinse out, obviously, the H2 Joe, but uh, it's a pretty clean process. And so we'll take a quick break to talk price and a couple other GSI coffee options, and then we'll come back to my preferred way of how to make coffee with the H2 gel. So I wanna take a brief time out here to just hit price with you and show you a couple other GSI coffee items as well that we have been using in this video, just kinda of help us make the coffee. Because GSI Outdoors does really crank out some awesome stuff, just in general for cookware at really good prices. Their, their performance to value, I really like a lot and been using a lot of their gear for a long time. Now this guy floats anywhere between 10 and $15. I will have links in the description below for everything we talk about today over to Amazon. And that's a great way to help support the channel when you use those hyperlinks, you can also check out just the GSI store and their website as well. Uh, but also if you're looking for any gear in general, when you use the Amazon links, the Blade HQ hyperlinks, and don't forget about our knock around sunglass affiliate, sunglasses for the whole family. They make great stuff. You can get custom made ones that you can design yourself all under 50 bucks. They make some great stuff. When you use those sunglass hyperlinks over to knock around, it really helps us out as well. Put fuel you know, in the, the channel and help us to continue to go. So 10 to $15 for this very similar to a lot of other compact, you know, pour overs and other systems that are out there. So very doable, very reasonable for the price point. And then you guys have seen this before, the Infinity Backpacker Mug from GSI, about $10. This one now, they do have, my old version did not have this, they do have um, graduations up to 16 ounces, which is what this will hold. And if you wanted to store your uh, H2 Joe, you can absolutely store it in there as well. And that's the mug I was using throughout the testing of this video. And you guys have seen in videos past the GSI Java Mill. Love this thing. I bought this guy for about $30 a while ago. It's polymer, so it's a little lighter weight than most other ones out there. And this produces a great grind and a great cup of coffee. And so we've been using that throughout this video as well to produce the coffee grounds that then we throw in there. So um, we've purchased a lot of GSI stuff in the past. GSI did send the H2 Joe over to me so I could test it out, see if it's something that I would use regularly and give you guys good feedback on whether or not it's the right tool for you so that you can make that wise choice. 
All right, now my preferred way, and I'm not quite sure why I prefer it this way, I just kind of do. Um, and both, both of these will make a great cup of coffee, but it's called the cowboy coffee way. And so what you do is you take your coffee grounds and you throw them into the bottle this time instead of the H2 Joe. You're gonna boil your water, pour your hot water in, then screw your H2 Joe on and the lid and lay it sideways and shake it up a little bit. So the H2 Joe is acting as a filter now to keep it from hitting the, the lid and you know coming out. Uh, let it sit for four minutes, about halfway through, just shake it up a little bit, toss and turn it around, um, you know, pr um, agitate it, lay it back down on its side. Then after four minutes, you're good to go. Leave the H2 Joe on this time instead of taking it off and pour straight through the filter, the filter keeping the grounds in the main body of the bottle and you're good to go. This way is a little bit better in the sense of not having to have a secondary cup. The other way you'd have constantly have to be taking the H2 Joe on and off to, to you know work with it. Um, this way you can leave the H2 Joe on the entire time and just drink straight out of your bottle if need be, which is great, or again, pour it in a cup, up to you. Um, the downside is that it's a little bit messier. The grounds are all over the place inside the bottle. You're gonna have to rinse out the bottle either way. So I don't know why I just kind of, it just makes sense to me to do it this way because I have to rinse it out either way. This, this way though, there are more grounds in the, obviously the body of the bottle, um, but then you're good to go. And so either way is gonna make, in my opinion, a great tasting cup of coffee. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope this video has been informative and helped you out make a decision on if this is the right way to carry a filter to make cups of coffee when you're on the go, regardless if it's in the backcountry or around town. For me, I think it's very usable for particularly the backcountry because I can screw it onto any of my Nalgene's, just drink my water out of it all day long, and then when we get to the site, make my cup of coffee, rinse it out, hit the trail again and just use it almost as like a pre-filter throughout the day. So I think that is sick, great price point and produces a great tasting cup of coffee with almost no footprint because it'll either fit in your mug or it will fit inside your, um, what's it called, uh, Nalgene or other you know bottle that you may be using that's a wide mouth. So uh, thank you guys again so much for coming over here and checking out the channel. Please subscribe if you're not a current subscriber to Gideon's Tactical. We're throwing up videos like this every single week. Check us out on Instagram, social media. Don't forget about the mailbag. Put a hashtag mailbag and you might get one of your questions answered in an upcoming video. Don't forget about the Gideon's Tactical show every Saturday. We talk topics, we have fun. It's not a gear review type of uh, video. It's something completely different, much more entertainment and just fun facts that we do every Saturday and all the other regular gear reviews that you guys see here week in, week out. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.